Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Teodora Dyer. I'm a spiritual medium and intuitive reader. I've got a message for Gemini today. I have asked my guides and spirit to come through with a message that's deeply meaningful and helpful for you this week as you navigate what's ahead. And um, message comes through the cards. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, I really encourage you to do so. It is awesome to stay in contact with that high vibration, consistent information from the other side every week so that you're sure to be moving forward on your path. And of course, if you feel compelled or you feel resonating with something I'm saying, please feel free to like and um, comment on this reading during the course of it. I'd also love it if you'd share this channel with other people so we can keep getting this positive energy spreading. So the cards I've drawn today are talking to me about a work situation that because this is a spiritual perspective, there's a bigger meaning involved. So and see where where they want to take us. We've got the moon for the energy around you this week. So especially thinking about that work situation, there's a lot going on behind the scenes that aren't quite right. And there's a lot of deception going on where things aren't being shown to you honestly, or there's just something going on like, you know, coworkers gossiping or just something going on where the truth isn't completely apparent. You're not really going along with that. We've got the Knight of Cups, but you're so stuck in wanting to see the positive and wanting to see the bright and wanting to see the beautiful and so wanting to just um, follow your heart and love everyone that you're not really seeing that kind of slidey energy. Um, I want to say slimy, which I've never said with this card before, but it's just a little bit bleh. A little icky feeling going on, but you know, you're, you're stuck in your ideals. Your heart is true. You're like, this is where I'm going. And you're really not paying attention to what's going on there. Um, your cards are, are though asking you to do something a little bit different because somehow that energy is going to affect you, whatever that's going on, whatever is going on at work. We've got this ace of cups going into the five of wands, and then that ends in the ace of wands. And I love this. You've got a doorway of aces. You've got a one and a one. And this is often the symbol of a portal or a doorway. So we've got this lovely message of self-love and heart's desire going on, and you're being compelled to move from self-love towards your heart's desire. And this action is saying, fight for it. Whatever that is, fight for it. And this guy, he's a knight, but he's such a gentle, peaceful knight. I don't even think, yeah, I was correct. He's not even carrying a weapon. I mean, what kind of, <laughs> how's he gonna win a fight without a, a weapon? And he's like, I don't need a weapon. I have the beauty of my inner vision. I have the beauty of my soul. Yeah, okay, that's going to stand up against a spear. I'm being silly here, but the point is that this is not a fighter energy. This is an idealist. This is a romantic. And your soul is saying, stand up and fight. Stand up and fight for that heart's desire. These are light cards. They're wands. And we've been in the dark with this moon. The moon only shines at night. Well, it shines in the day, but you only really see it at night, right? But um, so this darkness, this deception is going on. You've got this lightness over here and they're saying, you know, this is going to affect you somehow. You may not be willing to see it. You may not be wanting to see it, but it's going to touch you somehow. And there is a lot of darkness in the world at the moment. There's a lot of darkness in the collective. A lot of people that are in the shadow sides of themselves that are not behaving like their true selves, but that's where they are. This is saying fight for your true heart, fight for your heart's desire, fight for fight for it because it's coming out of self-love. If it's coming out of self-love, it better be coming out of self-love. But it is, I feel like it is for you. But it's kind of giving you this idea of don't give up. Don't give up in your quest for that which your heart desires. Don't give up in your quest. You have to just hold on and, and really fight for it. This, this guy is swimming against the stream. So you've got the foxes going one way, he's running the other way. The little rabbit down here that they're chasing the foxes. So this is the energy of a fight, of something not happening easily, but 
your soul is like, you have to hold on to it. You have to hold on to that desire from, from what I'm trying to tell you. Um, that's your soul speaking, not me. So let me see if I can get anything else out of this. Cause I feel like we've, we've been on that path for a while. See if they can give us any more information. So some of it is also just staying focused on yourself. Yes, the the darkness is going to maybe affect you. Yes, it's maybe going to touch you. But this is about staying focused on you and staying focused on your desires. If you find yourself fighting this week, if you feel like you're swimming upstream, just be assured that you're going to be victorious because you have the energy with you that you need. It's just a matter of getting through that little difficult spot before it becomes clear and before it becomes what you need it to become. Uh, let's see if they can give us anything else because this water and fire is so interesting. This is going to happen pretty fast this week. I think this is not a slow moving energy. This is very fast. This is flow. And um, I think you're going to be pretty pleased with the results. The other thing they're saying to me, and it doesn't make sense to me, but I'm saying it anyway, is don't let anyone else tell you what your heart is. Don't let anyone else tell you what your desires are. It has to make sense to you. So don't allow yourself to be swayed. I think that's another meaning of this moon card here. Don't allow yourself to be swayed by something that's not true to you. Stay true and pure to yourself. Um, this guy's riding a unicorn, and the only ones that can ride unicorns are the pure of heart. So this is what they're saying. Stay on your course. Stay pure in your, in your desire for yourself. So this involves making decisions, which, you no, know, sometimes we don't always like to do, right? But these two aces are telling you to plant firm. Put that, take, um, <laughs> make a decision. Choose one way. An ace is a one. Choose one way, choose one thing to be, meaning choose one path for now. Don't be distracted and diverted by all these other things. Choose one path right now. Okay, anything else? Okay, they're also saying don't worry. Um, they're not telling me why, but they're just saying don't worry. Um, this deception isn't going to be going on for a long time, maybe just another week. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Anything else you guys want to tell us? It's taking that light seriously, taking that light that you carry in yourself. Other people may not see it or understand it or get it, but take it seriously for you. And that's what this is really about, is taking your own light seriously so that you are willing to fight for it. If you didn't take it seriously, you'd be willing to let it go. But when you take it seriously, you fight for it and then your soul understands, oh, she means business, he means business. We are actually going to, um, we're, gonna, we're gonna start moving things forward for them because they're showing us commitment. So yeah, just <laughs> so many messages in here. I don't even, I can't even sum it up. But if you've got questions about it, let me know in the comments below and I'm happy to clarify. You're also very welcome to check out my website, trueguidancetarot.com. There's a lot of really exclusive and awesome offerings on there. And there's links in the description below if you want to take a look. So good luck this week. I feel like it's going to go well. Um, but yeah, put in, put in the grit because it's worth fighting for. So I'll see you next time.